New at 530, a six-year-old girl from Brown County born with a rare heart defect gets another shot at life. And we first introduced you to Nyla in February and her family has been raising money for months to get her a new heart. Well, finally, they raised enough getting Nyla the help she needs. Our Jason Maxwell. In November, my daughter was sick and I had to call 911 to come get her. And then we found out that she was in severe heart failure. And we've been in the hospital ever since waiting for her to get a heart transplant. When you are waiting for something like a heart transplant, um, they have no control over when that's going to happen. On Friday, March 31st, I was downstairs in the cafeteria at the hospital and I got a text that the doctors were like in Nyla's room waiting for me. And I was like, they don't ever just linger. So I didn't know what was going on. And I went to her room and they took me to a little room and they told me that they accepted a heart for Nyla. I don't think people really understand that we have such an amazing hospital here and that people need to be here for these life-saving things. Um, such as transplants and, and different things that, you know, luckily most people have never heard of because they don't have to. And when people understand that this house is here and that families staying with us are coming from around the world to be here with us and they truly call this place their home. Saturday morning, April 1st, we walked her to the operating room at 11 a.m. And later that night, she got her heart. It was like 12 hours, the surgery. It was <laughs> amazing. I can't believe it. Like, I'm still shocked. Now I feel relieved. Like at first, all the surgeries leading up to this, I was always so nervous after her like for her recovery. But this one is so different. Like I just feel so like I just feel at peace and I just feel relieved because I know she's okay and she has a strong heart now. So she's doing good. She just like turns any bad situation into something good. We could all learn a lot from her. And that smile right there pretty much says it all. I know. I'm glad I know. she was able to get that surgery. Me too. Me too. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was Jason Maxwell.